perfect. I understand that. Yeah. I, I get that. Um, so obviously you're a smaller entity. Yeah. Um, what kind of cunning, as it were, things are you doing now, especially with the online to, you know, to, 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 to hit your, your audience and to, you know, keep the buzz up? Literally, what are you doing? Um, to be honest, just trying to tell the truth. So mm. you, on, on Twitter, we'll have conversations with fans about what book, just being who we are, yeah. about what books they should read, because that's what we've always been about, spreading knowledge and kind of exchange of information. But really the main thing for us is, um, Little video blogs. I've written kind of a, a mini novel that goes with uh, this album. Okay. Uh, it's a kind of 20 page diary, 20 uh, insert diary of this fictional character that we've created around the album. Yeah. And so that's up on the blog. We'll put music recommendations on the blog. So it's really using the online as a portal to give people a bigger sense of what we're trying to kind of represent. Right, yeah. Good answer. And getting the fans to do it for us, mm -hmm. which they did. Okay, okay. Um, like you mentioned on Twitter. Yeah. Um, I read one of your tweets today. Yeah. Uh, you said a uh, youngster came up to you and said, "Oh yeah, you're the guy oh, yeah, who um, yeah. was it? You're the guy who yeah. raps about the truth." Yeah. Yeah. What do you What do you think the problem is then? If If you know you're being noticed as a guy who's rapping about the truth, what's that the means? This young person is obviously has a perception that rappers don't talk the truth. At twelve years old, he's picked right. that up for himself. Mm. That's not me. I mean, I was in a school full of kids, so. Everyone knows this isn't something I've just pulled out yeah, of the air. Yeah. Literally, we were doing a workshop and a kid came over to me because the workshop was with a younger group. And mm -hmm. one of the slightly older boys who was 12 and 13 came over. Because obviously, last time I released an album, he was nine. So right, he probably yeah. hasn't heard of me <laughs> before. Um, but he's probably seen the F64 thing that I did. And he, yeah, which made a massive impact. Yeah, and, he's, and in fact, uh, I'm pretty sure that is what he said. And he said, you're that rapper that talks about the truth. And I was just like, that hit me a bit Yeah, for a young person to say that. Quite poignant. But I think it is very poignant because that means that at 12 years old, I've already realised that rappers basically talk rubbish. Yeah. And that's a shame mm. for someone to feel that way. Mm. And I'm not saying there are no other rappers that talk the truth because there are loads. It just, this young person obviously hasn't experienced or seen many, otherwise they wouldn't find exception. Mm -hmm. When I was 12, all rappers that I listened to anyways, but yeah. relative truth. Okay. Or at least had some kind of poetic value, in my opinion. Okay, so... I recently got sent first single off the album, yeah. Double XL. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the title for this one? Uh, Double Think. Double Think. Yeah. Tell, tell me a bit about, like, A, the title. Why is it called Double Think? Uh, Double Think is a phrase from a novel written by George Orwell, 1984. Okay. Um, which the meaning, definition of the word Double Think in that book is to simultaneously accept two completely contradictory beliefs. It's really a political term. It's more to do with kind of politics and the way societies, not just individuals, but societies interact. Okay. Um, and that book is the book, the phrase Big Brother comes mm -hmm. from this book. Ah, okay. um, so it's quite ahead of its time, the book. So yeah, I was loosely inspired by it, just so many ideas in that. Double uh, XL comes across like a, how would you describe it? It's like a rock, rave. Yeah, like, like rave electro yeah. club thing. It's not much like the rest of the album, we did that deliberately. Okay. Where we put out a first single that, um, Tell, tell, tell everybody like what what the what what, what double XL is about. Uh, double XL is about yeah. actually a lot of what we've been discussing about, just questioning and asking, what is hip hop's function or what is rap's function? Because right. rap and hip hop are two very different things. Yeah, yeah. And rap music is obviously used, uh, really. Rap music is a corporate product. Hip hop mm -hmm. music is a, a sellable. It's yeah. a rap music is a. It, but that doesn't mean that stuff that's hip hop can't be sold because it has been. Karis One, Public Enemy, guys that are hip-hop have sold lots of records yeah but we're just questioning how much now in this kind of generation of ringtone rap as as the phrase has become yeah. um we're looking at this character mc stereotype and if you watch the video that's what double xl is all about it's all about yeah. you've got, got to get more you've got to get more right. you got your... but if you watch the video at the beginning of the video um this there's a character who's just me he's not wearing any jewelry he's well he's just an mc he's not necessarily me he's yeah. just well and then an a and r offers him if you look, watch the video closely, you'll see that when the hand comes into offering yeah. the jewelry, it says A and R, so it's a record A. Uh, offering him the jewelry, he throws away the book, which obviously re represents the symbol of knowledge. Yeah. So he throws away the knowledge. So when I'm saying MC stereotype, I'm not talking about a young man who may not know any better. Mm -hmm. You don't know any better, and kind of you just over influence. Yeah, yeah, and then you're just over influence cool. But we're talking about people who actually know they're playing a role, mm -hmm. but are willing to do it. Yeah. Because there's rewards, which is cool, good for them. But to me, that's stereotypical. Okay. When we're willing to embrace and reinforce the stereotype. So that's the... Well, we know that. So he throws away the knowledge yeah. and he takes the jewellery and plays the role, but in the end it drives him mad mm. and he destroys the advertising city that he lives in and goes back to being himself. Being original, yeah. Okay, and what's with the pink and black? Just 
the colour scheme of the character <laughs> form. <laughs> no, it, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's just it a bit out. out. Yeah. It stands out, it stands out. And then the rest of the album, um, what sort of sound would you say it was? Um, really varied, kind of. We've got my friend Paul Gladstone Reed, who's a, a really kind of just fantastic classical composer, yeah. playing piano in the loose throughout the album, so in between different songs, to balance off kind of, because a lot of the songs are really kind of hard, heavy metal, electro, just really hard hitting, not only with the music, but lyrically a lot more direct. Mm. Um, so Paul playing the piano throughout really kind of balances that. That's like the breathing time. Yeah, it's like the breathing time. Like, let me relax before the next punch. And um, But then when you've got some quite mellow songs, songs, there's a song on there called I Don't Need, which is just talking about kind of what I feel I do and don't need in a woman. Um, you've got a song called Find No Enemy, which is my personal favourite, which is the most emotional, most laid back song on the album. Yeah. So there is, there is, a, there is balance, there's I, a I hope. There. Okay, cool, cool, thanks for that. Um, we're going to wrap up now, all right? Way. And what we're going to do is something called the rhyme game. Okay, you're a wordsmith, master of words. <laughs> you're going to put me on the, on the <laughs> spot now. You're the dude, you're the dude, right? So, um, can we have a word, please? Any words? Hippie. Hippie. You and you've just got to find rhyme with words. Rhyme with hippie, and we just, we just go back and forth. Trippy. Slippy. Dippy. Pippy. Licky. Sicky. <laughs> What's that one? Is that one? I'm not gonna lose this. Come uh, on, man. All right, one, another one. Jigsaw. Oh, jigsaw, hacksaw. That doesn't rhyme. Jigsaw. jigsaw. All right, sick. All right, all right. One, uh, a one syllable. I don't, word. I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know if much. Oh, we rhyme. did double rhymes, triple rhymes, single yeah. rhymes. Jig. Jig. Can I start? Oh, pig. Hmm. Twig. Pig. I've lost the pen <laughs> on such a simple rhyme word. I need to go home and read my rhyme. <laughs> I think that means you win. It's about three, isn't it? So you've three in a row. Well done. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much, sir. That was a call around the floor. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, that was big. Catch you soon, bro. Yeah, let's go, man. Double XL, Mike. Double XL. I'm double XO right, double XO bro, double XO full. Tune in to the double XO show. I'm who I am, be what I be, go wherever, go see what I see. Funky as hell with the double XO with them two big MCs. Double XO killing, eat them both up. Double XO feeling, kick back now. I'm double XO chilling, double XO flow it, double XO poet. I'm the man and I double XO know it. Funky as hell, double XL. Funky as hell, double XL. Funky as hell, double XL. Double X, double X, double. L. This is who I am, this is who I be, this is where I go, this is what I see. Funky as hell, double X, L, double X, double X, double X, L, double X, L, chat, double X, L, slap, double X, double X, double X, soda, double X, L, fact, double X, L, crap, double X, double X, double X, soda, double X, L, tongues, double X, L, mugs, double X, double X, double X, solo, double X, L, war, double X, L, more, double X, double X, double X, L, law, spin the decks, a double X, hex, ejected by my breath, in effect, double X, vex, better protect your neck, my pen injects text, double X, infect flesh, I reject your double X guess, come correct, I detect a defect in your sack, you neglect